Good morning, everybody. I am Trevor, and this is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. If you happen to be new here, welcome to the channel. And if you are not in returning, welcome back. So we have a little bit of a change of pace today. We had yeah. such an amazing time in Southeast Asia. If you haven't watched that, you should go back and watch that series. It was fabulous. But today, we are actually in the Florida Keys. in the Florida Keys with the tourism board. We're gonna be doing lots of fun stuff. You might see a few other people around with us. Uh, we're gonna be eating some food, seeing the sights. It's gonna be really fun. It's gonna be great. And speaking of great, check this place out. We're at a place called Robbie's Marina. And it looks to be, there's like a local market over here. There are things for sale. You can rent kayaks. There seems to be little food stands. We're here pretty early right now. Um, but so far, this is looking really cool. This is what I pictured the Florida Keys to look like. What totally. about you? And I think you forgot to mention, there are tarpon here, which are like giant fish. Ooh. You might be feeding them. Well, that would be pretty cool. Yeah. like this before. Check them out, guys. I can't get over this. Look at them. Look at these guys. I can't get over their hair. So we came down to the wharf. We're going to feed the tarpon. I don't know if we're going to do it. It looks really scary. But then these pelicans are all around, like, trying to grab the fish from everybody. It's kind of the, one of the funniest parts. These pelicans are everywhere trying to get them. But here we go. Oh, baby. Whoa. Oh, look at the fish. <laughs> Whoa. These fish are so big. They're, um, I think they're about 25 pounds each, but look how many are down here. And they're all right now thinking I'm gonna feed them, but I uh, better back up a little bit. I stand corrected, those fish, some of them go up to like 100 pounds. It's absolutely crazy. And I think the females are the bigger ones. So fascinating, I can't get over the size of them still. So we just came over to this turtle sanctuary, but we also realized we didn't give you any facts yet about the Florida Keys. So if it's not obvious, it's in the south of Florida. It's a bunch of islands that stretches 120 miles yeah, long. Yeah, 120 miles. And there's about 75,000 people that live here. And the islands are actually primarily made up of coral, and because of that, they can't dig into the ground, yeah. so there's no basements in any of the homes, and a lot of them are on silt. Yeah, it's really unique. Okay, here's the big guy. Check him out. Look at my hand next to him. Like, look at Anna next to him. How about that? Look how big that guy is. Right now we're in visiting the turtles that are in the tanks. Some really cool ones, big ones, little ones. Yeah, there's so many. Look, look how many are over here. So we got some food here to feed the turtles, and we were told to like throw it a little bit. But um, looks like they're all coming over, huh? I know, look. Wow, that is so big. The camera's not doing it justice. Doctor from the university. Okay, so the tour, it does start off with a presentation. Anna's taking some notes. We're gonna try to give you some of the facts because there's a lot, but they're doing so many good things here for these turtles. It's amazing, and hopefully I got these down right. I think there are seven species of sea turtles in the world. Five can be found here in Florida. They are the green, the loggerhead, the Kemp's Ridley, the leatherback, and the hawk's bills. And there are four that are critically endangered. Um, the leatherbacks are, I think, the biggest ones. Yeah, they're the yeah. biggest. And they can get up to 2,000 pounds. 2,000 pounds. And their shells are mostly made of cartilage. In yeah. The so they can't keep them like after they die. I think that's because they said they those the leatherbacks dive they dive down so far. 4,000 feet. 4,000 feet. They need those shells to be like um, expandable I think to yeah. get at the, the jellyfish. Kind of water pressure and stuff. Yeah. So there are two ways, um, well two of the big ways that the turtles end up in here is pollution. Um, one of them is those plastic bags that we hear about all the time and it's not until we're at a place like this till it really affects me anyway. The other thing is um, balloons. So people that release balloons into the air they end up in the ocean. And 
the reason for that, turtles um, eat jellyfish a lot. Yeah, it, so they think they're jellyfish. They, they think they're jellyfish. Eating them and they end up, like, they've had some with like tons of them in their stomach. So there are three ways you can help, and we'll name those now. Right, so donate. Uh, there are loads of organizations throughout the world that help sea turtles. Uh, you can just look them up and uh, give them a donation. Number two is help in uh, beach cleanups. And number three is to obey boating regulations. So that was just straight up amazing. If you're in the Florida Keys, we just we highly recommend you go do that. Yeah, it was super entertaining. Uh, it was a 90 minute uh, yeah, long 90 tour, minutes. so there was loads of information. It was kind of hard to record because it was just so much information at us, which makes it sound like it was boring, but it wasn't. It was so entertaining. I think our. Um, the tour guide was named Christine, she was awesome. She told really great stories about all of the different uh, rescues that they have here, which by the way, we haven't really talked about that. They actually yeah. do rescue these turtles. Um, by ambulance. By ambulance. So like that, one, that's one of the most fascinating things to me here. They have an ambulance, they can get a call. Someone in the Florida Keys might like find a turtle that needs to be rescued and they call here and they go out with an ambulance and go collect the turtle. And by the way, if you're the person that finds that turtle, you get to name it as well. That's so interesting. Whatever you want. Yeah. One's even called Chuck Norris. <laughs> A bit of a change in pace. We're going out for the evening, leaving our hotel at Marikey, and uh, look at our ride. Um, guys, just hold on a second. We have a limousine to go to the next place. What is going on around here? We're taking a limo to go get some craft beer in Florida Keys. So the limo just left. I can easily say it's the first time we've ever gotten a limo. <laughs> Maybe the first time we've ever gotten a limo, actually, but to a brewery. Something we never thought we'd say. We're actually at a brewery called uh, Florida Keys yeah. Brewing Company. It's got a really cool sign, actually. We'll show you here in a second. So we are back, we just did a tour of the brewery and now we're over in the tasting room and where they have like loads of different types of uh, beers here, but uh, we grabbed four and we're gonna try them. So this one is an Iguana Bait Honey Hibiscus Kolsch. This one is called Weedline Wheat. Weedline Wheat. This one, the name is really funny, Nice Melons IPA. <laughs> All right. And this one is a Coffee Brown. A Coffee Brown. So you're starting with number one. It's mm. I think the lightest and it's their most popular and I think I said it was the Iguana Bait Honey Hibiscus Kolsch, which is a German style. I'm wasting no time guys. So far this is really cold. We're outside, it's really warm. You can probably tell we're sweating, we're sweating a little bit. <laughs> We've had Kolsch before, but it's not too often we find craft Kolsch beer. Yeah, it's really rare. Um, it's kind of rare. I think I can almost count on one hand like how many times we've had it. Yeah. This is delicious. I think it's, what did they say it's the most popular? Did we say that? Yeah. I think it's the most popular here, and I think I can see why. It's very refreshing. While Anna is trying that, this is the first time in a very long time we had craft beer. I think the last time, at least on the videos, was in Singapore. If you want to check that out, make sure to do so. It's called Level 33. We'll link it up here. Um, and then before that, not almost right before that, we were in Dublin trying craft beer. And to be in the Florida Keys trying some delicious craft beer at this awesome place. So excited. So we're going to move on to the next one. What is it? This one is a, it's called Weedline Wheat, so obviously a wheat beer. Um, we are always big fans of wheat beer. Actually in uh, Singapore, that's what I think I have. Yeah, color this. We're, we're always um, big fans, like I said. I'm not when sure. When it's cloudy like that, I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, can you guys see that that's kind of cloudy? So that usually means to us it's, it's our beer. Mm -hmm. Now the next one is an IPA, the Ooh. Nice Melon. Nice Melons IPA. I like the name. <laughs> IPAs are one of those beers. This is a strong one. I think it's 7.4% um, alcohol. Yeah. Now, that's not uncommon for an IPA. We're not mm -hmm. beer experts. Um, I know pe a lot of people watching these videos, will <laughs> they trust us with their craft beer. We're not like beer connoisseurs or anything, but we know IPAs are strong, but... Not always, but most of the time. Most yeah. of the time. Yeah. But they're they're hoppy, usu usually, mm -hmm. and I love the hoppiness, honestly, but I just can't drink like a lot of them, because yeah. you can get a little tipsy quick. I sometimes like an IPA, not always, so we'll see. Oh yeah. 
Oh, it's, it's like, it still feels like a light beer, like to be down here in Florida where it's really hot. That's like an easy oh, yeah. drinking That's IPA. That's like one of the maybe uh, easiest drinking IPAs I've ever had. Yeah. It's not too hoppy at all. No. And it does have a little bit of a melon thing going on. We, we often compare beer to where we're from in Canada. It's really cold in Canada, especially um, these kind I of like months. Um, and IPAs up there are usually a bit, like a little bit thicker. I think, so. uh, last but not least, we have something that looks entirely different. It's it's like a dark Dark beer. It's color. a coffee brown. A a coffee brown. So there's, mm -hmm. there's coffee in this. I actually missed that part. I'm surprised we went for the coffee brown. Well, let's see what it's like. I, we, I do love coffee. Mm -hmm. We do like beer. Whoa. Whoa. That, it almost tastes stout like. With uh, some coffee. Like it's, okay. it's very thick. And, well, it's so dark. I'm not surprised. And there's hints of coffee in there. Definitely coffee flavor. It's still refreshing though. Yeah. It's a little, I mean, yeah. It's not my kind of beer. Yeah. But it's good for a few sips. <clears throat> I think if we had to pick a favorite, um, and it's probably because we're in the warm weather, it's this iguana. Yeah, I like the wheat though too. So now we might just have to go get a full pint of the iguana. Yeah. Alright guys, it's another day. We are now in Key West, and we realize there's one more thing we have to do. This might be the most important yet. We cannot be in the Florida Keys and not try key lime pie. So, we're gonna go try some key lime pie. The place that we heard that you have got to go in Florida Keys, well maybe just in Key West, is a place called Kermit's. We've heard this from a few people, so we're gonna go try it. It's right over here. So let's just take a minute and admire how good that looks. I am so excited. It does look really good. And to be honest, we've been here a few days uh -huh. and we've had a few pieces of key lime pie so far. We have not tried it here and that's why we're here today. Um, I have learned that I prefer whipped cream over meringue. So two thumbs yes. up for this one so far. We haven't tried it yet, but like that gives bonus points immediately. This one's good. So yeah, nice and tart. That's really important. We've had some that hardly taste like lime at all. This one's nice and limey. Gives that like thing to it. I'm so excited. You just built this up. Like there's so much anticipation. I'm going right for it. Mmm. Oh yeah. That just hits you like right in the taste buds. Full on lime. That is so good. I actually find it really creamy as well. It's the first thing I noticed, but we've been, uh, like Anna said, trying a few different ones. That tartness, you do taste that right away, right? That's, yeah. Um, one of the keys so far, from what we can tell, is one of the key things in this pie, but also you can't leave out the crust. That wafer crust is just exceptional. It's like a little bit crumbly. And like a little crunchy at the same time. And I'm so glad it's whipped cream, guys. We here, some people are on the meringue side, some people are on the whipped cream side. We're team whipped cream. So what a great way to start off in the Keys. We did some really fun stuff like Aww. feeding the tarp on, although we didn't so actually good. do it ourselves. But it was cool to watch. Yep. Uh, the turtles, like we learned so much there. That was amazing. Yeah. They're doing some great work there. I yeah, still can't really amazing work. You guys do. should check it out for sure. Uh, we have some great beer. Yeah, and the beer, um, the brewery is owned by a Canadian. So now you have Gotta to love go. That. Well, love we're that. Canadian, just in case you didn't know. So go support that guy. And then the pie, obviously. <laughs> yeah, Kermit's pie. Kermit's key lime pie was the best we've had so far. Yeah. So thanks for giving us some pie, Kermit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, now guys, if you haven't saw our last video yet, um, we were in Bali. Bali. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. <laughs> we traveled so much in the last few days, but we were in Bali. Make sure to go check that out. And in the next video, well, we're lucky enough to be exploring more of the Florida Keys. We can't wait because we're off to such a great start here. Also, if you are new to the channel, I am Trevor, this is Anna, we're the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to subscribe, click on the bell for notifications. We'd love to have you follow along on our journey. All right guys, that's it. From Florida Keys, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.